Hello everyone, it's me, Scott Miner, with another video. Uh, real quick before this video starts, I'm planning on doing like a weekly tutorial series. So, um, it's basically because I've been so busy with other stuff and not being able to do as many intros. So, put suggestions down in the comments for what I should do. Um, today we are going to be doing a like quick tutorial of time remapping or like as I don't really know too much about it. Like, I, I would say I'm okay at it. But I'm, I'm newer to it, so yeah, I just have been having a lot of comments asking me to do it, so I'm going to try to do my take on it. Um, yeah, so basically, um, real quick, what we're going to be doing is, so I have this song, right? So if you want to like, if you like, put drag, bring a song into After Effects, right? Open here, go to audio and waveform to get this waveform, and then... What you're going to want to do is I, I've already syn synced it because I actually already did this whole entire tutorial. And then I go and check, find out that my system audio sound, which is this sound, did not work and it did not record. So I, already, I did this whole thing on, on video, but, you know, whatever. Um, basically, go to their parts in the song that you want to sync it to or like sync the background to, I mean. Um, if you want to figure out how to sync this, then if you like click the... Uh, uh, go to your numpad basically and then if you want to make a keyframe click the little star at the top and then I'm gonna delete that actually I can do that and then uh, if you want to make it go like just the song then push the like next to the zero at the bottom there's like a period or a del or whatever delete I don't know but all you have to do is click that and then so yeah, I actually used this song in my latest intro that I did. It was pretty cool. I actually like this song a lot. It's pretty sick. So yeah, that's where we're going to be syncing the intro to. Or not the intro, I mean the background. But um, yeah, so basically all you have to do to do time remapping is go to right click it actually and go to time, enable time remapping. Go to click there. And then, as you can see, there's like two little keyframes, and basically that's that's all of the um, time in between it. So if I bring this closer, it will go faster because it's less time in between them both. So you, you guys, if you don't understand, then you know it, it will you'll you'll understand probably by the end of this. So basically, what you're gonna want to do is go ten frames back. So ten, and then or this is what I do anyways. Go ten frames back, and then actually. You know, I'm, I'm trying something new. I'm going to go 20 frames back just to make the beginning stage a little bit easier. Um, then you want to go to the first keyframe and then see these little crown area. So, let's see. You're going to want to bring it three, uh, move it like two in front. Because so what you're going to see at the first keyframe, it's right here. So what you're going to do is want to have it like right here or right here depending on uh, which way it's going. So I'm pretty sure I have to put it right here. No, I'm wrong. Um, of course. I but You got to put it the little dot in the middle right there. At the, so make it three to the uh, end right here. So and then all right. So we go to the ski frame. So it goes to the second one already. So all you got to do is go to this one and then go a cup. I would just go like just drag it a little bit ahead. And then make another one by dragging it all the way to center. Yeah, it can be like this. It just does. It can be in between them or whatever. It doesn't matter. But um, this is the way I do it. Makes it. It seems like to be the easiest way for me, anyways, or the fastest way. Um, and then just keep doing that, and Okay, once you're done, then you're pretty much like good to go from this point. So you got all the keyframes, so it goes three, three ahead, three ahead. So it kind of like is jumpy and skippy, as you guys can see. It's kind of, here, I'll play it and see what happens. Yeah, it's horrible. So basically what you're going to do is click all of them and then click, uh, go to right click it. And then go to keyframe assistance, go to easy ease. You could just click F9, but that's my recording software and I do not want to stop recording. 
So um, basically, since they're already all highlighted, go to here. And then if, like, say, let's, let's just say if this screen doesn't pop up or it doesn't look like this, because I've had that happen many times to me personally, um, all you got to do is go down here and click value, edit value, uh, value graph instead of speed. This is speed. Uh, this is both of them. I don't know. Don't do both of them. Just go to, I just go to this one for now. Um, just scale it down kind of, if you want to scale it down to make it look better, just, or zoom out in basically. Go to here and click on one of the sides and it'll kind of scale it down. It's kind of hard to get a little bit hanging on, but um, whatever. Um, basically, all you gotta do, to, what we're gonna do is start basically, is grab, click this bottom key uh, keyframe, and then go to this one and drag it down. Make it kind of like a slope, but you don't want it to be too steep because if it's too steep, then it'll be choppy. And you kind of want to make it smooth, and the smoother the intro, the better. It can be a horrible intro, but if it's smooth, it won't. It will be good. It won't be. It won't look bad. And then kind of just make it like as like like this kind of. Um, so yeah, basically, what I did was I made it slope, and then I made it like smooth. So I bent this up with it, make it made it go instead of like this, making it. It would just be like this. It go build up for speed. So basically do this. Okay, let's see. This right here is like where it is. I guess the key, that's where the time is. And then the more steep it is, the faster it is. And then the more up here it is, the slower it is. So if I put it like up, if I grab it, let's see. I put it up here, that's the slower it is. So it's like slow and then, you know. So it's not anything like... And then what this is, is it starts slow and goes fast, right? So you want it to build up speed. And then as soon as it builds up speed, speed, you don't want it to just be a speed and then cut off the speed and all of a sudden it stops like this. See, it stops. And goes like backward a little bit. It's like, oh, what the heck? You just... So basically what you want to do is kind of bring it up as slightly, not too big. Because then it will kind of make it look weird. But you want it so like it hits the keyframe, it hits the beat, and then it goes a little bit faster, right? It goes fast um so you just kind of want to experiment and see how much you want to do it with it it's kind of different for everything but um yeah it's basically the, what you're going to be wanting to do or the idea of what you're wanting to do and then you just do the same process with all of them so yeah that might take a take some time it's it's not easy um so it's like you know doesn't have to be perfect um it's not going to be perfect for the sake of this video that is for sure i'm not going to spend like 20 minutes on this, making it all perfect and everything. This is going to be like a little uh, easy like video for you guys. Um, or like not very much, like, you know, not in depth too much. Um, so yeah, like if you already know how to do this, you don't, you know, you don't need to watch anymore probably. you probably like, oh, this is how he does it, okay. I have a better way, okay. If you have a better way, just tell me in the comments because I... Uh, I'm perfectly fine with changing the way I do stuff. Um, so yeah, let's keep going up the up the hill. I guess it, it's, yeah, it's kind of like hills. You want to make it go up and up and up, and but you want it to be smooth, so you don't want it choppy like this. Um, like that's just like ugly, or it's kind of like waves, I guess is what you could just say or call it. Um, but what you ever you do, do not make it go too far under because then when you it makes it go fast and then makes it go backward and then fast again it doesn't make any sense so you're going to want to try to keep it level right or you want it to make it always going up never at any point you want it to be going down you want it to stay up so and that's what i'm doing as you guys can see you want it to stay going forward at all times okay let's see this And then the end is kind of crap, but it doesn't matter. It's just a tutorial. It actually doesn't look that bad. Maybe in here, maybe it needs to be a little bit tweaked, but, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. And you can do, like, this method is for anything that like, you want to sync it with. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend text, but you can do whatever you want with it. Um, so like those little stroke lines that are going everywhere, that's how people 
or that's how I've done that in the past. Just like it speeds up and slows down at certain corners or whatever at the beat drop or, or at the beat and, you know, sync it with that. Or like those squares that go uh, for the square backgrounds that, you know, a lot of everyone really uses <laughs> at some point. I've used them too. They're actually pretty sick actually. But that's how you can sync those two. Just like, kind of like this. It's a little bit different for the beginning of making the background, but the syncing part is the same. Um, yeah, so basically that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, if you have any suggestions, uh, make sure to tell me in the comments. And please hit the like button. Let's, you know, if anyone's still watching this, make sure to, you know, to pay, uh, say that you, you watched till the end because, you know, why not? <laughs> but uh, yeah, thank you guys, everyone, for watching. It means a lot. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.